Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi. Welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today, and yes, it is a Christmas card. This is using scraps, and this is using the scraps from the bag that we made yesterday. So that was a bag um, um, devoted to mothers, and this is a Christmas card. So let me show you what I did. I have a piece of Wisp and White here already in my Temperatus, and this measures 4 by 11 centimetres. And the stamp set we're going to be using today is this one called Wrapped in Christmas. And we're using this the sentiment here, but isn't that a great amount of sentiments there? And we're going to stamp it in garden green. So let's just do that. Okay, ink it up. Press it down. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Just going to give my sentiment a little clean with my simple chamois so I don't spread ink all over the place. I love the simple chamois, it's just the best, really is a useful tool. Okay, so now we're going to stick this down to a piece of garden green that measures 4.5 by 11.5 centimetres. Um, and I'm just going to do this with some snail. You can do this with snail if you're tired, as you know, but you can do this with an adhesive of your choice, like Tombow or Stamp and Seal, whatever, whatever makes you happy. I'm just using up my stock of snail because I don't want to waste stuff. So there we have our sentiment. Now, I'm just going to turn my grid paper over because I'm on the inch side and I need the centimetre side because I really am a centimetres girl, not an inches girl. <laughs> I can work in inches, but I'm much happier in centimetres. Now, the reason I want to do this is because my I've cut this. These are scraps. So these two pieces were scraps from making the bag yesterday. And all I've got left from my 12 by 12 sheet are these two little pieces here. And to be honest, you could make a card again with these. So you could actually get two cards in a bag, all from your one piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. But to get back here, I need these two pieces together to measure 10 centimetres. I've cut them down to measure 4.35 and I just need to map them like this to measure 10 centimetres. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of snail on the back of one side and then put this down. Bring, and I'm using my grip paper here so I can get everything nicely lined up and this is the 10 centimeter mark and then I can just press down here on the two together and of course I've stuck it to my grid paper because I put too much snail down so I'm ever so clever <laughs> but it's not the end of the world as you'll see not the end of the world at all it's easy to come back up and now I am going to put a good little amount of adhesive down. And we're just going to stick this onto our card base. And this is garden green and this is an A6 card base. So that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. And we're just going to stick our amalgamated piece in the centre here. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to bring back our sentiment and we're going to be using some dimensionals here and I've got some edges here and this is what edges are perfect for these big um, sentiments that you want to pop up. So I'm going to use them up and stick them to myself in the process. As you can see it makes it so much easier just using your edges. So I'm going to pop a few normal dimensionals on just for good luck. And that'll do. And so much easier to take the backs off the edges. Can you imagine having to take all the centre, all the dimensionals, all the backings off that big piece. So you'll be there forever. And then I'm just going to put this across the join. Just there. 
and that's it really simple pretty and elegant card so I hope you enjoyed the card this project if you did I'd be grateful if you give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you want any more information about this project um, measurements and um, links to my online store that's all in the description box below along with my, all my social media links including my new Facebook group so please do check us out so thank you once again and until next time enjoy being creative bye